Okay. Sure. I shall stop. Okay. Good point, good point, good point. So where will that energy come from? Well, the clear explanation is perhaps this. But how much energy are we talking about here? Well, as it so happens, it's quite a lot of energy. In a single potato chip, there's a huge amount of energy hiding in there. So we need a whole packet of them. Just imagine how much you're burning. So, we've now established that energy comes from consuming food. Okay, so how we like to fire? Do we just consume oxygen here? Do we use the oxygen to consume our food? Well, this is true. We pass the electrons to, to the oxygen, and this allows us to get energy from this. However, do we really look like this on the inside? Well, no, we don't. So what's the secret behind this? Well, we store our energy in the form of ATP. This is a chemical storage formula. This means we don't have to burn like flaming men here. We can actually just... Um, sorry. We can actually just store this in a chemical form. But what does this have to do with my research? Well, in this case, it's the way your body makes and uses energy. And this is called cellular respiration. So all of this really takes place in the great human engine room, the mitochondria. In plants, this is called a chloroplast, which to me makes people like George Lucas especially uninspiring when they choose to describe midichlorians such as what exists in Jedi. So this is the Jedi engine room. Okay? But you'll notice on the previous slide in here that it's covered in membranes. Here's these little stripes. And there's a space in between them. And the membrane stripes are basically, this is where your proteins are embedded. And these will be the proteins which generate the energy for you. So let's take a look at these. These proteins all here do a similar job. In essence, they move protons, so this is like acid, across the membrane to the other side. This is their job. In this process, what they do is they also transfer electrons and it passes to oxygen. This is why you breathe oxygen. This is a singular purpose. If you were to breathe something else like metal, then you'd be able to pass your electrons to metal. But metal is, metal is really solid and it's a little bit hard to breathe. For us, a gas is much more accessible. What it does is it moves these protons from the matrix. Okay. So when I'm talking about the matrix, I'm talking about this matrix. That's the space. I'm not talking about this matrix. There are no spoons involved in this. So, we've got to have protons on one side of the membrane. We're reducing our oxygen. This is where our electrons have gone. So what is this for? Well, what they do is these protons somehow, big question mark right here, get to this enzyme here. It's called the ATP synthase. What it does is it makes cellular energy, that chemical energy I was talking about before. This is ATP equals cellular energy, okay? So what I'm going to describe here and my experiments are based on is the interaction between one of these enzymes which passes the electrons to oxygen and pumps protons and the running of this molecular motor. And what this motor does is it rotates. And upon its rotation, it causes the formation of ATP by changing the shape of various subunits in the bottom of it. So therefore, it they change shape, upon the rotation of these subunits here. So as it spins around, it changes shape. Great, we generate energy. So, I will need those volunteers, please. Don't be shy, come on, come on. Come and join me. Three minutes. Yeah. I need one person at the end here. One person at the other end. And you can stand right here, please. Stretch it up, stretch it up. Congratulations, you're the HP synthesis. Oh. And this is my cytochrome. Okay, straighten it up here. this. So now the cytochrome, he pumps protons, okay? And to run the cytochrome, ah, unfortunately because we don't have so much food available, we have to use electricity. <laughs> so, maybe a little bit dangerous for us. We just pretend to connect it a little bit. So he pumps protons, 
My ATP suitcase here, he is going to rotate. So put your hands up like this. You are going to capture these protons, protons, and you're going to rotate and change shape. Okay, right. So, my two experiments here. Where do the protons go? Do they build up in the bulk phase or do they run along the surface of my membrane? Where do they go? Do we have a build up, then an accumulation? Or does this rotate very fast straight away? So this would be slow rotation, fast rotation. I use a very nice microscope and what's called a potential set, electricity, to run this. So the first experiment. Okay? So, cytochrome, it's here, it's getting the spot, man. Come on. Alright. So we're gonna pump some protons. Please pump the protons. Alright, pump the two protons, one the blue. This is where he's passing his electrons off to oxygen, okay? So, oxygen. <laughs> it's a gas. Okay, and the protons get pumped, and then portion they go into the ball phase. Like this. And eventually they come down yeah. and capture by the ATP synthesis. He rotates and he produces ATP! Yeah. Oh! We've got energy! But it's only a small amount of energy because he's rotating slowly. So, if we can move aside for a second, this is what it looks like when you record it under a microscope. Nice and slowly. This is a single molecule of an ATP synthase rotating. And so, what you use your energy for could be anything. So, I've got a small amount of energy. Maybe I've done slowly. Yeah. Feel free. Use your ATP. Come on. Yeah. That's slow rotation. Okay? Slow. Not a lot of energy going on. So, let's get back into shape. If you simply come back, come back, come back. And now we're going to look at protons running along the surface. So please pump these again. Pump, pump my protons, man. Come on. We're going to need some passing electrons off to oxygen. All right, release. Come on. Lost them. Okay, protons. Now they're running along the surface of the membrane like this. Really fast. And take a synthesis. And he produces lots of ATP. Ah, lots of ATP. Okay, now we produce lots of ATP. The ATP synthase spins very, very, very quickly. We have to finish there, time is up. And that is it. This is my story.